Clean up the stragglers and we can proceed. I'll just leave. No! We've worked hard to reconnect this node to the network. These are just bandits loyal to the Keymaster, used by her to keep the base under control. You can expect more competent foes as we move higher up the tower. Mara killed a hundred Ghost Runners. Ninety-nine, to be precise. What of it? How am I to fight her alone? The Climbers replaced many of your parts. There were a few they couldn't find. Mara's kill switch among them. Which means she can't shut you down. the last of them. Time to get back on track. Where to? Dharma City, of course. We'll need to use Amida Elevator Station. That's the fastest route by far. The base is Dharma's foundation, in more than one sense. It is the lifeblood of the tower's economy. Back in the Golden Age, there were enough goods produced here to satisfy the needs of all the residents. Of course, the upper levels had certain privileges. During Mara's coup, many of the facilities were damaged. Things have been in slow decline ever since. Nowadays, the area mostly serves as warehouses or gang hideouts, and a reminder of what Dharma used to be. Which is... Home. A safe haven for the survivors of the apocalypse. You built this whole place? I conceived it, designed it, and built it. I am the architect. Your optimal 
optimization has improved. main factory complex. Hello? Jack, can you hear me? Why Jack? Right. You wouldn't know. It's a code name we use... Gear. Once I plug in my Atma, I'll be able to monitor and key communications and keep you updated. Atma? Atma chip. The standard neural implant. You must have heard of them. Basically simplified versions of your own Cortex interface. I'm gonna connect to your visual feed so I can guide you better. Can you grant me access? Done. And... And... I'm in. Seeing the world from your perspective will make things much easier. So you're going up to Dharma City? Yes. Well, first you have to get through the base, and much has changed since you've been gone. There is no law here anymore, just the Keymaster's goons, pushing everyone around and shouting orders. You didn't obey. Some of us didn't. You had visited the base often in the past. Towards the end of our time, this place became overrun with criminals. The Ghost Runners kept them at bay until Mara took over. they produce goes straight up to Dharma City, while the Keymaster and her lackeys live in luxury.
strange. The keys are nearly gone. They're not regrouping at the usual locations. They're just retreating. Returning to the city? Not returning. Leaving. Most of the keys are locals and never go up there. This is unusual. Heading towards Amada Station. Getting to the elevators is gonna be tricky. Wait. What? Some of their units just changed course. They're... Coming back? Not exactly. Give me a minute. The climbers were always out of their depth, even at full force. Why you believe she can be of help is beyond me. She wants to fight. It takes more than that to be useful. I've intercepted the Key's orders. They're planning to shut down the Sector's air filters. What will that do? Toxic dust from the outside will seep inside the tower. Thousands of innocent civilians will die. The entire Fifth Sector. Which way to the filters? <sighs> Thank you. This is a mistake. You don't have time to worry about one sector's dwindling population. You want them to die? You're missing the bigger picture here. Sometimes sacrifices are necessary for the greater good.
the air filtering facility is just ahead. Why is Mara doing this? It's punishment for rebelling against her. She wants to make an example of us, to keep the other sectors in line. Sometimes even your current speed won't be enough. Look for cyber void uplinks to temporarily disable safety limiters and increase acceleration. Use them sparingly though. You don't want to damage yourself. What are these uplinks? Think of them as loose cables you can grab onto for extra power. Although they can be much more dangerous than electricity. Why are they here? They're what's left of Cyber Void infrastructure. At one point, the terminals were everywhere. Once they disable the facility, the air will slowly become lethal. The children and the elderly will get sick first, but eventually, it'll kill everyone. The small turbines are responsible for internal circulation. It's the big one we have to worry about. It's still on? For now. There are keys everywhere. Won't they die as well? Either they all have breathing gear, or they have no idea what's going on. The Keymaster recruits the most violent. Not the brightest.
could have just destroyed the filters. As long as the installation remains intact, the contamination is reversible. The Keymaster cares less about lives and more about production lines. I keep trying to contact the other climbers, get help. No luck so far. Maybe they're laying low. Maybe.
outside air breathable is a complicated process. It has to be done without compromising Darwin's outer integrity. The burst made a mess of the Earth's atmosphere. The filtering systems were designed to be durable and virtually foolproof. Unless, of course, some fool decides to turn them off. Take some measurements, Jack. It's not looking good. The level of radiation in the air is rapidly increasing. People will soon feel the effects. Evacuate the sector. Get as many civilians as I can to go to fourth and sixth before it's too late. Stay put. I'll make it. It's no use anyway. The gates are locked tight. No one's getting out. Mara's delusional. It's stupid.
the contamination is spreading by the minute. Radioactive dust concentration is already 50 times above normal. <coughs> Hold on. Don't worry. Phasers are tough. I'll be fine as long as you bring the filters back online. 